Good morning. Good morning. Are you uh, Norwegian? Do we know each other? Here I am enjoying a coffee. Just like the old Torstein. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> Hi. Over there. Alright Bondi, are you ready? Yes, we are ready. We are in Rally Finland. Uh, haven't been here since 2019, so it's uh, starting to be a while. But uh, I'm glad to be back and uh, uh, ready for the weekend. It will be tough competition. The Finns are always super quick here. So uh, it will be a big fight. But uh, we also changed the setup of the car a little bit for this weekend. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cameraman almost, Ole just almost <laughs> crashed with the bike. With the bike, yeah. Um, so we changed the car setup a little bit. On our tests, we had very heavy rain, so it was impossible really to have a good feel for it because it was aqua planning from the beginning to the end. So nothing really worked. So uh, that's a bit of a. Uh, something that we have to have a feel for now on the shakedown and if I don't like it I can always come back to what I know from Estonia so we'll be a little bit of exploring today Good morning, Good morning. How are you? Hello, Andreas. Ciao. Ciao, buongiorno. buongiorno. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh Fatih! How are you? How are you? Mmm, <laughs> good little breakfast. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Who was winning this uh, this race? Is it you or is it Torstein? Well, let's see on Sunday, but I hope it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Belgians, Belgians, Tom Belgian. Andreas, good morning. It's been a while since you've been here. What is it like getting back into Rally Finland pace? Uh, for sure it's uh, completely different to Estonia, even though it's fast. The surface is completely different, so we're trying a new setup this weekend, which we just had to try to adjust a little bit to. Uh, so just trying to get a feel for it now on Shakedown. Because the test it was aqua planning all over the place, so it's hard to feel. So step by step. Now, now we're doing uh, something new for this here. It's called Media Den. It's a bit for the people, everything. For some journalists, if they want to ask some questions. So, yeah, it's quite nice. First time introduced in Estonia. Instead of the pre-event pre press conference, basically. So just to make it a bit more accessible for the people.
started commentators talking about you running a little wide over the curb, over the footpath. Were you experimenting a little bit with the line in there? <laughs> no, but I saw many people do it last year, so I decided to do the same. They're not so high, so you can do it. So it was fine. A bit careful other than that, but uh, good enough stuck. Describe for us what the stages look like out there. Stage is in very nice conditions. Um, a lot of tarmac. The grip is very high, much higher on the second pass, but uh, when the tires get some heat into them, but um, very nice, very nice uh, way to start. We, uh, we were very quick on the first split, and then we uh, were very careful in two breakings, where if you miss the braking, you go straight into the barrier. So there we took it easy, but it's good enough start. I'm happy. Okay, so we're ready for stage two and uh, the first proper day. I think it will be uh, super quick. Good morning. Um, and uh, I think everyone will push like crazy today. So uh, we really have to be on it from the very beginning. Normally in Finland, the roads are very different. So normally I like to take my time to drive myself into Grady's. But here, I think uh, if you lose too much time in the beginning, there's no way to catch it. So have to go out of our comfort zone a little bit and really push from the first meter. was okay we had um, a small incident on stage and Mihimpa where we hit a rock on the left side of the road uh, quite an impact I uh, thought it was a puncture but in the end it went straight into the damper so there we lost like 13 14 15 second, seconds something like that because I had to be slow um, and then uh, on the last stage it felt quite normal again so uh, it was very strange how was the condition on the car after the first loop? Super, super condition. I think uh, very good. It's a surprise for me. <laughs> was there a damage on the... No, no, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing damage and the uh, car was... Uh, no, uh, before the service car was super. So, nothing damage, uh, nothing damage. Oh, it's ready. We are ready with the service. Alright, we try again. Let's catch some time.
Spenning, Nu så åpner alle til lite kun 160. Slett 5 venstre pluss, åpner til kun. Rain really coming down heavily now for you. Did you. Was it affecting you in there? Yeah, the last uh, kilometers was pretty bad. So, but it will only get worse for the guys behind. So, it's like that. So, uh, tough day at work today. Um, we felt that we have done some good stages, but the times are definitely not there at all. So the thing is, we have tried a completely new setup this weekend, um, and uh, it's like I cannot drive a car like this. So we'll go back to something that I know tomorrow, something that I've driven in Estonia and all the rallies previously, and uh, hopefully that will give us the stage times that we want. So now back to the room, do some video for tomorrow and uh, go again. Hope for some uh, some better stage times. Okay. Okay, okay. I think each time we do just one step with the springs, uh, you feel that the difference you guys more. Okay. So I was wondering to do two steps. Okay. 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 In addition, it will be a here this afternoon, so yes. I'm happy with that. Okay. Morning loop done. We uh, managed to improve the feeling in the car a little bit. We did changes on the way as well. Um, but still not uh, where we want to be uh, still. Uh, so what I will do now is go completely like I was in the previous rallies, like uh, Sardinia and Estonia. Um, and uh, so basically a much stiffer car because now it's moving a lot. I feel I don't, uh, I'm, I'm connected to the ground and just floating on the top. So I hope that will improve my feelings so I can, uh, I can push the way I want to because now it's, it's difficult.
Loop. We had so many issues. We had uh, so we were in big fight with Gus Greensmith to uh, for the third place, and uh, he rolled in the stage. I lost the the brake pipe, or it was broken, and we had tried to fix it, but we didn't manage. So we had to block it. So we had to bleed. But the bleeding didn't work properly, and then we had a puncture on the last stage. So we've been working very hard, and uh, so now we fell back to fourth, and the Nikolai Grias in. So 19 seconds up to him tomorrow, four stages to go, can be possible, we'll try to push, but uh, wow, the big job for the mechanics now, because uh, we had a lot of hits, it's very rough here, and uh, when we had the puncture on the rear left, uh, we hit a really massive stone, and uh, luckily we are here, so big job for the guys. by six seconds of course you would have wanted a higher result but it's a good haul of points moving into the championship lead but just tell us how tricky has this edition been for you yeah it hasn't been the result we were looking for i i i decided to try a completely new setup for the rally uh which was a mistake i i didn't manage to drive the car like i wanted so we changed it yesterday and uh, then we were back on the pace with the car that i know so yeah my mistake but anyway it's valuable points uh, i want to thank my team and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a fourth place, hopefully with some uh, bonus points. We gave it maximum, uh, but I think it's maybe a bit too much cleaning, uh, but I really did a good stage. So fourth place in the end, not the result that we wanted. We had a power stage point, so that was good. What was difficult this weekend is that we tried a new setup and this really destroyed a lot, I think. Um, I should just keep the, the car like I know it, how to drive and, and just drive it. Uh, but if you never do changes, you will never improve. So, yeah, this time it was a mistake. But anyway, we'll come back in Greece. And, um, and uh, the plan there is to, to be fighting at uh, the proper front. Uh, it's a rally that I love. And uh, last year we were really, really fast there despite uh, what happened on the first stage in the Colosseum. Um, so try not to repeat that for, the, for this year's event. But I'm really looking forward to get back into the car. Um, and I wish I could start Rally Finland all over again with, with the setup I'm used to, because uh, I need precision in driving. I cannot drive a soft car, it seems like. So, uh, but yeah, it was a mistake from my side to, to try something new on a rally like this, on a rally like Finland, where you need to know the car inside out to be committed and uh, yeah we're struggling 
But that's how life goes. You learn, you learn, you live and you learn. <laughs>